Good afternoon, everybody. It is almost three o'clock in the afternoon right now. What you got, Mandy? What made that noise? Show us what it does. So it's just me, Manly, and Sissy here right now. She is practicing braiding, y'all. She learned how to braid, and she loves it. She has braided my hair multiple times today, and her little horse that she got for Christmas, she braids its hair over and over and over again. She loves it. I showed her how to braid a little bit the other day, and she just kept practicing it, and girl has figured it out. I mean, check it out. I'm so proud. Look, she does a really good job for only six years old. I mean, I think it's really good. She tried to braid its tail, but its tail, there's like something there. You can't really braid the tail, but she tried. Manly thinks he can come over here and ride this horse. He might be fixing to do it now. Let's see. Oh, uh, you petting the horsey? He doesn't like for its hair to be braided. He tries to figure out how to get it out from the braid. <laughs> so yeah, it's almost three o'clock. Just me, Cece, and Manly here right now. Titus had to haul some cattle to the sale, and the boys are hoping for some fishing. Jacob's birthday is later this week, but right now it's looking like it's gonna rain on his birthday, and he really wanted to go fishing for his birthday. <laughs> he was asking Titus last night, do you think we'll be able to go fishing on my birthday? But it looks like it's gonna rain. So Titus told him he would take him today if he got finished with work in time before it got dark, and he did. So they're hoping to catch some fish before they come back home. I'm gonna go ahead and start supper so I can have it ready when they get here. It is starting to stay daylight longer. It didn't get dark last night until almost six, so that's good. I'm ready for those the sun don't go down till like 8 30 days that's what I'm ready for <laughs> I love cold weather when it's the holidays I like for it to be cold around Christmas time after that bring on some 70 degree days I'm ready <laughs> so I was gonna make that French onion chicken that I told you about the other day but I do remember now I did make it and y'all reminded me I made it in a what's for dinner video not long ago and we really liked it it's good but I found another recipe that I'm gonna try bacon brown sugar wait a minute brown sugar bacon wrapped chicken and i think i have the stuff just to make a salad with it i don't have any tomatoes i'm out of tomatoes but i have lettuce cheese i have lettuce and cheese i have some celery and carrots too and i'll make baked potatoes to go with it i'll do the baked potatoes in the instant pot audra is in her room right now she's wanting to rearrange in there i can't remember if i told y'all we ended up moving her back downstairs a little while ago, her and Tyler switched because when we were, we thought we were going to have a lot more events around the holidays, but we ended up not having them because people, you know, didn't want to have normal like Christmas tree lighting things. We usually play at a Christmas tree lighting, different things like that. There you go. He handed me his truck and then he wanted it back. So, in case we were going to be able to do those events, we needed the music equipment to be set up so we could practice. So, for a little while, we moved Tyler back down here and his room was his room slash the music room again for a little while. Well, a lot of places ended up canceling those events and all, you know, so we didn't have to have as many Christmas songs practice, which is also why we didn't have as, you know, I can't remember if I put any new Christmas songs in the Christmas special. I was planning on doing it. Titus did do one new song this year just uh, by himself, but yeah. As the whole band, we didn't really have to learn any new Christmas songs. So for now, we've got the music stuff packed back up. Well, some of it's still out in her room. But we're going to pack it back up in the closet for now until we start getting some more events booked, which will maybe be in the spring. We'll see. I don't know. We might just be recording songs here and putting them on the music channel. But anyway, the whole point of that was we moved Aldra back down here now. So she is back down in this room, and she's wanting to rearrange in there. She's actually been back in there for a couple of weeks now. Okay, so I've got the tea started. I think I'm going to make biscuits to go with this. I can get some biscuits in the oven real quick. Some of y'all asked the other day about freezing these biscuits. He is trying to put his truck in the sink. Does it need a bath? What do you want it to do? You want me to give it a bath? You want it in here? There we go. Is that what you want? He wants to get in there with it. Beep, beep. Okay. I had to pretend to wash that, y'all. He was not giving up. Now he's happy. He thinks it's had a bath. Okay, I'm about to make biscuits. And then we'll get the chicken in the oven and the baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. I haven't put my Keurig back up over there, y'all. It's under the sink right here. I've just been drinking coffee with Titus from that one over there. Now this one needs a bath. Does he need a bath? Horsey needs a bath now. He needs a bath? Okay. He's getting a bath. Look how happy. He's so happy. <laughs> there he is. You happy now? <laughs> so I'm just making these buttermilk biscuits that I always make. And a few of y'all ask about freezing them. I have before, and I just don't like the texture of them after they've been frozen. It's not terrible or anything. It's just not as good as fresh 
Y'all know those great value frozen biscuits? Those are better than these after you freeze them. I mean, these are better fresh, but if you freeze these, the great value frozen biscuits would be better than these. That's how the texture of them just changes and it just, yeah. He is bringing all kinds of stuff over here and throwing it in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna wash up all of this real quick and then I'll get the chicken in the oven. Alright folks, I went to cast out at the same time Tyler cast out and we basically tangled up pretty bad. The fish ain't biting real good today for some reason. I don't know if we ain't holding our mouth right or what the deal is. I'm gonna try to hold my mouth different ways and if they don't catch nothing, I guess we're just gonna have to go. Jake, hold your mouth in a different position. Jonah, you holding your mouth right? chicken ready. I trimmed it up and then I sliced them in half so that it's thinner pieces of chicken. I'm going to slide this over to the side for just a minute. Bring over this bowl. We're going to put in about a cup of brown sugar, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper, and some garlic. Just gonna mix this all together and we're gonna coat each piece of chicken in this. I might need a little bit more. Whoops, I'm slinging brown sugar everywhere. I might need a little bit more. If I do, I'll just put a little more brown sugar and salt and pepper. Y'all know what? I think I'm gonna change my whole plan here. Ah. I'm gonna put the chicken in here and lay the bacon on top of the chicken, just like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. So it's not gonna be bacon wrapped. It's gonna be bacon laid on top. The reason is I don't have enough bacon to completely wrap the chicken and it's gonna be looking funny. So we're just gonna dip our chicken and then lay some bacon on top. So now we take the little bit of brown sugar mixture left over and just sprinkle it on top. And these are gonna go in the oven for about 30 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. Probably gonna be about 30 or 40 minutes, probably. y'all here's supper tonight i found some green beans in the freezer so i made those instead of the salad we have the bacon brown sugar chicken green beans baked potato and buttermilk biscuits i tasted the chicken and it is really good the only thing i would do different next time is i would put a little more of the brown sugar mixture on top which i did make more chicken than the recipe called for so there probably would have been a little more brown sugar left over but yeah definitely if you decide to make this make sure you have enough of the brown sugar mixture to put on top because that makes it really good. Of course, it would probably look better if it was wrapped around the chicken instead of on top, but this is a new thing. It's a new year. Do new things. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to eat and then clean up the kitchen. One, two, three. Little kids I see are about to get ready for bed. <laughs> Did you like your biscuit and taters and green beans? Yeah, was it good? Sissy found her little chocolate egg that she still had left over from her Christmas stocking. <laughs> Is that dessert? They're sharing it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> oh. Does anybody want me to read them a story? Yes. Can I read to you forever? No. I will read to you forever. Even when you grow up and move out and have children of your own, I'm going to call you at night and read to you. <laughs> They're just joking. They still love for me to read to them, don't you, Sissy? 
they still love it. I'm taking you to see the most important gift the world has ever received, Super Bowl.